this is Jen from From Head to Toe, and today I wanted to share with you my Hyona Bubble Pop tutorial. I saw this music video recently, and I thought the makeup was super adorable. A little bit on the natural side, but I've gotten tons of requests for this look. Um, at first glance, it looks really easy to do, but it actually has a little bit of color blocking with the shadows on the eyes. So if you want to see how it's done, then please keep watching. To start off, I've already put Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Foundation all over my face. And I've also put Urban Decay Primer Potion on my eyelids to prime my eyes. I'm going to use this Urban Decay Deluxe Shadow Palette. And I'm going to use this taupey dark brown color right here called Underground. I'm using this Sigma little like fluffy blending brush. And I'm going to apply that to the space above my eyelid here. Just go in a half, half moon sweeping motion. Now taking the slightly darker color from the Naked palette, this is Dark Horse. I'm gonna use the same brush and I'm going to go over the same area except a little bit closer to my lash line. Now I'm going in with this big fluffy brush and I'm taking this color Virgin, it's a highlight shade. Add that underneath the brow bone. Now I'm taking this brush, this one's from Makeup Show, it's a fluffy brush, and I'm going to take this color Honey from the Deluxe Shadow Palette. I'm going to apply that to the middle of the bottom lash line right here, to the front. Now I'm going to take this color Half Baked, which is a little bit of a less yellow golden color. I'm going to add that just on the inner, inner, inner part. Now I'm going to take this color Smog right here and I'm going to smoke out the outer half of my lower lash line. Now I'm going to take my NYX Slide On Eye Pencil. This is in Jet Black. I'm going to line my eyes. For the top lash line, if you have uh, kind of more of a smaller crease or a monolid like me, you can do a thicker line, or if you have large double eyelids, you can do a really thin line just tightly close into your lash line. So just take this across and make sure you smudge it into your lash line as well to get all of the gaps in between that you might miss. And at the end, you're going to pull the line out just a little bit a little bit further than your actual eye. Now, you're going to fill in your entire lower waterline and also add a little bit of black to the outer half. So first, let's just go ahead and line the waterline. And then for this outer area where you pulled the top liner down a little bit, you're going to make a line that sort of connects that corner to the rest of your waterline over here, only to about the halfway point. So I'm just filling in the space in between. And then as you go in, it's just going to fade into the line of your waterline. Like now taking a Q-tip, I'm just going to blend out any harsh edges. And I'm pulling out the outer corner of this line, just to make it really soft. Now I'm going to curl my eyelashes and add mascara. For the lower lashes, you can do a couple coats of mascara. Now this step is optional, but I love false eyelashes, so I'm going to add false eyelashes to my upper lash line. I'm using these Leo Ellie lashes in style number four. Because Hyona has a naturally glowy, summery complexion, I'm going to use this highlighting powder to just highlight on top of my cheeks. This is NYX Mosaic Highlighting Powder in 01 Highlighter. 
I'm just doing that all across the top of the entire cheek. And you can also add this to the top of your forehead, down the bridge of your nose, and right here at the top of your chin. That's just going to sort of brighten up your entire face. And now I'm going to use this bronzer from my Josie Marin palette. This is in Beach Number no. 1. I'm just using my angled Sigma brush. And I'm only going to use this sort of in the hollows of my cheeks. I'm not going to put it all over my cheek. It's just going to start up here at the temples and sweep in underneath the cheeks right here. You can also apply that bronzer a little bit to around your hairline and down your chin. Now for the lips, I'm going to use this NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. This is in color number 6, Istanbul. I'm just blending it out with my fingers so it looks more natural. So now that my lips are nice and pinky matte, to add a little bit more saturation to it, I'm going to add just a little bit of this Crystal Muse lipstick in Juicy Orange. This one, the bright, bright color. Literally, I don't want a lot of this, so I'm just gonna use a little bit on my finger like that, and then I'm going to dab that on my lips. So this is the final look. To see this more, you can visit my blog at fromheadtotoe.com. If you have any questions, you can always ask me on Twitter. That's twitter.com slash fromheadtotoe. If you enjoyed this tutorial, then please subscribe up there. This is Jen, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye. I'm going to use this Urban Decay. I'm going to use some sugar. To give high... Uh, because Hyona has a very glowy kind of summery complexion. Because Hyona has such a glowy sum, since gl I'm going to add this to see more K-pop tutorials. You can follow me on blog. To see more tutorials, you can follow me at From Head to Toe. <clears throat> to see more looks and to see more tutorials, you can find me at FromHeadToToe.com. If you haven't, if you'd like to talk to me on Twitter like to talk to me on Twitter if you'd like to if you'd like if you'd like to if you'd like to ask if you'd like to see more to see this and more please subscribe at from head to toe dot com if you to see this and more please check out my blog at from head to toe and I will see you guys later and I will talk to you guys soon this is Jen